O A P. Disney Star Wars fans are highly active this holiday season, ratcheting up their attempts to generate outrage over non issues. The easiest method for them is the Ray fallacy. Here we have this account on X stating, genuinely do not understand the hate for Ray beyond woman. They them love Ray so much they failed to capitalize her name. If they do understand but are lying, then they have an agenda. If they genuinely do not understand, it is because they are uneducated, willfully so, and thus they still have an agenda. Real Star Wars fandom has always accepted female characters, some immeasurably so. Mara and Jaina were wildly popular. In the 80s, Shira Bree slash Lamaya had a great arc. Other times, female characters were forced, no pun intended and not politically. Kalista was a great example of this. The character had fans, but overwhelmingly she was rejected. Her sex had nothing to do with it. On the creative side, Mary Jo Duffy and Louise Simonson were major players in the Marvel Star Wars comic series. Artists such as Cynthia Martin contributed to the series. This was over 40 years ago. These agendas exist in our favorite franchises because activists know that original works will never get the steam to push their messaging out to a wider audience. Supported by ESG, this leads to the hijacking of properties made successful by real fans for decades. True believers will attempt to create their own movements, such as Project Stardust, and then get mad when some women were perfectly fine and just wanted to be left alone. We see what happened with that failed project. This narrative is pushed by sources large and small, such as this X account that asks if a black woman being an Imperial is problematic, or this one that accuses original Star Wars of not doing a good enough job of portraying the Empire as real threats. Outfits like Scientific American write, unironically, that Star Wars has a problematic cultural legacy. They don't like Star Wars. They want to hijack it for their own agendas. They want to revise the intent of the original creators with new themes and new manipulable fans. Ray was the ultimate case of a production company shoving a character down our throats. It was blatant and unabashed. To make matters worse, Ray supplanted the characters we knew and loved. This all combined for a recipe that created the absolute worst meal of shit for viewers and longtime fans. If you claim not to understand this, then you're being intellectually dishonest. <laughs>